Um, this film uh, is about a, a feeling that I felt like was out in the world, uh, an anxiety or fear. Um, and it worked for me in two ways. One, uh, it's a very personal feeling. Uh, that's the result of, you know, um, being afraid of, of whether or not I can keep my life on track if I can, if I can keep working and, and getting paid and, 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 and keep my life together, um, keep my marriage working, keep my son healthy. Um, you know, the kind of personal fears and anxiety that I think a lot of people walk around with. And, um, and then on top of that, I thought there was kind of more of a free-floating general, general fear or anxiety out in the world, whether that's about, you know, economic troubles or environmental troubles. Um, and uh, it just felt palpable to me. And I wanted to make a film about it um, that, that somehow dealt with it or addressed it. And, uh, and as I started to write the film, um, I was in my first year of marriage. And the film actually, though it deals with anxiety, the film is really about marriage. Um, because what I realized is anxiety isn't, it's not enough to make an entire story. It's, it's, it's an effect, it's not a cause. And um, the story here is, uh, is about this married couple and, and, and the anxiety is born out of uh, the fear of possibly losing, losing that relationship or losing that family. There was just a general sense that the world was unraveling, partly economic, partly, you know, the Deepwater Horizon disaster happened while we were filming. Um, so there was oil, you know, they were talking about the Gulf of Mexico just being ruined, um, which is a place that I grew up on. Um, you know, you just feel like the way, the way we're living and, and the way the world's going, it, it just can't, it can't bear the weight of, of these disasters. And our lives can't bear the weight. And this is a fear. It's not. It's not been actualized, thank God. Not for me personally, but um, but it's a fear. And so, yeah, I, I think you would have to be a a guy living down in a storm shelter or something to not to not somehow feel connected to to the way the world is 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 going and feeling right now. Absolutely, yeah, you know, um, I needed to find a, a visual way to um, express this fear. And uh, storms seem to be an appropriate, you know, fairly on the nose kind of metaphor for it. Um, but that also came from two other things. One, um, eh, nature to me is, is um, it's beautiful, it's powerful, it's dangerous, and it's, um, indiscriminate. Uh, if, you, if you choose it as the antagonist for the film, it's, it's, there's no blame. You can't put any blame on it. You know, nature does what it does. It, it creates and destroys equally. And, um, and I like that. I'm a fan, of, I'm a fan of, of not having bad guys necessarily. Um, and so that was, that was one reason. Um, also, I just love cloud formations. I, I like to sit around and just look up in the sky, and, and I, I just don't think there's anything more beautiful than a, you know, um, than a cloudy sky. Uh, but also, and this happens a lot uh, when I write. I was struck with an image. Um, I was struck with the image of a man standing in his backyard, looking into an open storm shelter. I don't know where it came from. Um, it just popped in my head one day, and. That really, that image kind of stuck with me and, and became the outcropping for the rest of the film. You know? Not a word. You didn't say one word about this to me. Don't you think you owe me that? Don't you think that you might respect me enough to at least consider what I'd have to say? You know, I didn't want you worrying about it. Well, I'm worried, Curtis. How are you paying for all that? I got a home improvement loan from the bank. How could you do that without talking to me? You know the expenses we have coming up. You want to waste money on a stupid tornado shelter? 
I'm doing it. I'm doing it for us. I know you don't understand. You're right. I don't understand. He, uh, his films are definitely an influence. Uh, out of all of his films, The Badlands, for me, uh, is the biggest simply because it's the most narratively driven. Uh, I'm a linear thinker. Terrence Malick is a non-linear thinker, uh, you can tell. Um, and, and his projects have become more so. Um, and no one makes films like Terrence Malick, and I wouldn't attempt to make a film like Terrence Malick. Um, but I think, the, I think the more I've thought about it, I think the shared similarity actually is, is in, um, and I, I don't know him, so I, I don't want to speak for him, but for me, um, spirituality is directly tied to nature. You know, I think nature is, is the easiest way for us to, to find some, some greater sense in the world, um, some greater connectivity. And I, I, I would venture a guess, having watched Tree of Life last night, that um, Malik might be on the same page with me on that. Um, and so, honestly, I, I think those similarities in terms of how we express nature and how we show nature in our films um, is, is, might be the result of a shared um, philosophy or, or, or spirituality or, or, or feeling about how the world works and how nature works specifically.